Okay, hello everybody. It depends on your location. Good morning, evening, afternoon. Uh, welcome to the international conference on machine learning and automation. I'm Abdullah Arabo, uh, an associate professor in cybersecurity. My research mainly focusing on cybersecurity issues and how do they implicate in terms of education and learning and applying machine learning into teaching as we are research. And for this keynote speak, I will focus more on the issue of explain, explainable AI in education. So basically, I will look at how can we incorporate at explainable AI in terms of teaching and research and development. How can we make sure that uh, the education system can fully utilize machine learning or able to explain to the audience, to the students, to the researchers on how they are go about experimenting and improving the education system in terms of research and development and in terms of uh, how do you apply that as well in terms of your model teaching as well either coursework teaching or just model delivery it's also by the way applies to industry as well how can they use explainable ai and how do they try to make sure that it's able to make it more efficient for them to explain things to either new employees or train on how to use cybersecurity tools. And of course, when they mainly on cybersecurity issues because that's not an area of expertise or speciality. But at the same time, it can be applied to on other areas as well. Not only cybersecurity, but my context is in cybersecurity. So for the next 20 or 10 minutes, I will look at introduction to you about what is explainable AI and how does it use, how can it be used in cybersecurity education. I'll look at the framework on how we can easily adapt or embed explainable AI into our education system. I'll look at the future perspective of how it can be used. Then I'll briefly look at the benefits of explainable AI in education. Why do we need to use it? How can we make it better for us? And then we draw some conclusion as time goes by. Uh, feel free, by the way, uh, if you have any questions, follow me on or, or tweet me that on your Twitter at my handle. Uh, I'll be able to address them for you as soon as I can. So, what's, what's this, how do you define explainable AI? Basically, XAI, or in a short, it's a field of research that focuses on making AI system more explainable. So if you ask a machine learning system to do something for you, how would that machine learning system be able to explain that to you in a layman format, in a simpler way, so you'll be able to understand it? So if you're doing your research, you find a paper that talks about technical aspect of, of, of what you are doing. How will AI is able to explain to you how that is developed? or what that, that concept means, or the tools means. There are many parts of explainable AI methods that I use. I will focus on three main of, three types of them. One is called the local interoperability, or the global interoperability, or the interoperability, interoperability. This is the local one over here. I focus mainly on explaining to you based on a single data point. So it looks at the entire architecture of what's going on and it picks up picks only one single data point and explain to you what does a system mean in regard to that single data point. So it, it will ignore all the data points that are available. But it will pick them one by one or only one of them to explain that to you and to allow. So if you're struggling to understand the principle of what's going on, then the local inter interoperability allows you to single at that single variable or single data point as well as to your sub goes by. In contrast, global inter inter interoperability on the other hand allows you to explain the overall behavior of a model across all the data points. So look at the whole model across all, all data points and explain to you how does it work. So that's more of giving you an overview of what's going on globally. But locally, it allows you to pick in point down, uh, grind the things into one part of the as time goes by. That one, interactive of, on the other hand, allows you in, to interact with the system. It allows you to, okay, look, to ask, okay, look, we are talking about point A, 
What about point B? So basically, it's, 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 it's common in the loop. So it allows you to interact with it. So you come off, so, so you come off this, the, the, the point in your system, allow it for you to play around for your time what, what was going on. So those are the three main ways on how it can help you understand what's going on. It provides you an overview of, of AI and how it's cybersecurity. So basically, you look at cybersecurity tools that you can apply or how can use in AI to make it more easy for you. Also, you can discuss how to use that to teach uh, students in cybersecurity. So having the basic knowledge of, of what's explainable AI and what are the three main methods that, that can be used, then we look at how can you use that to enhance the action in your, in your own curriculum. They can be used uh, to detect malware. So basically, you can use explainable AI to explain to you how does that malware be detected. So it's explained to the, to the students or the, to the researcher or, the, or the, to the client bit by bit, how can you go about detecting malware? Although malware are evolving, but if you use explainable AI properly, it will help you to dissect a dynamic principles on how those things work. Number two, it helps the students or your clients to learn the aspects of cybersecurity attacks and threats. So uh, since I evolve in, if you are doing your personal development in a company, we can help it to explain to you how can you understand phishing attacks or how can you understand all of top 10. Or the students on the other hand, if you are teaching them on the assignment plan, that will allow them to explain to them every concept of what's going on bit by bit. Number three, it will help you understand how to secure vulnerability. So first thing it tells you what's going on, how to detect it, it tells you how to understand those threat vectors available, and now it can help you secure systems. Okay. Oh, by the way, from those two points, if you do that, it will allow you to make sure that your system is secure as time goes by. So it allows you to secure it for you. So it creates some something like creating strong password for you. Strong, strong keys for you, or even tell you how to do much photo authentication. So that helps you create those solutions to make it more secure as time goes by. In the last part over here on the slide, you can teach different ways of responding to cyber attacks. So you can give you some options. If you're under attack, you can follow option A, B, C, and D. You can also evaluate for you which option that is my is my most suitable for that kind of attack or threat. But it allows you again if you use the if you use the interactive mode, it allows you to, to, to put in some extra data points to, to make that decision is more clear to you. So not so some, not, not, not only, only allow you to explain what's going on or explain uh, some tests for you, but it can give you solutions and also how how you go about also to respond as well. So how how, how, how can you be more proactive in, in, a, in a way. So you have to be reactive in your solution, not to be reactive. Yeah, you just when when you attack you, but how to be more proactive as time goes by. Now what you have looked at so far, a explainable AI in education can help you to do three things. Can increase the student trust of AI tools. So students who are or students or the companies or academia or industry that are unaware or don't trust AI that much. When those tools are explained to them, those tools, then you can increase that trust level. And when the trust level is increased, then there's more chance of you being able to adopt it more each more each better into the system as time goes by. Number two, it improves learning outcomes. So if you are aiming to understand of a problem either for a research or for a model, then a explainable AI can help you improve the efficiency on how students can effectively efficiently understand what I can teach them. So you do your best on as a, a researcher, as a deliverer, and then use a explainable AI to augment your own learning outcomes. Every student have their own way of thinking of their of learning. They require us to be able to be provide input for them or to guide them towards it. But sometimes having a system for them that they can use in their spare time that will be able to explain to them in, in a different way and will help them enhance their uh, learning as time goes by. That leads us to the third point of a bias. 
So it would a, a, a scalable AI would use a, a, a biasing systems because uh, if you look at education system or such or, 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 as a whole, mostly you do things based on on the individual uh, understanding or context or history. So my background will influence how I explain things to in the conference or in academia or in, in teaching. But explainable AI doesn't have bias. So it can explain that to you with in a proper context that reduce all those bias that we might have as, as, our, as individuals. So it allows you to make things more over here. So reducing bias over here will make sure that your audience, either students or industry, are able to understand what's going on, are able to apply your solution properly, and that will make it more easier for you to be able to uh, to reduce the gap on understanding between all the as time goes by. Although there are some benefits, but also there are some challenges as well, in a way. Able to benefit of your own challenges. Uh, so let's look at three main challenges that we can look at at the moment. So it's difficult to develop a, a effective system that, that, that explains all methods. So AI is still programmed by human beings. And uh, sometimes AI, explainable AI, will not be able to efficiently and effectively explain all required attacks methods affecting cybersecurity or any other field. So that network, we need to have the human in the loop process. So the human can provide AI, explainable AI to a limit, but it will back it up with, with their own explanation. So in that way, we are able to cover the whole dynamics of the, that problem domain. Number two, it's difficult, it's a, it's a balancing act between explainability and accuracy. How much I want to dive into that to explain that concept to individuals. I am going to go into basics. Some are finding very boring. If I find it, there's, there's no accuracy involved. I want to give it a high level explanation. Some will find it difficult to understand. So how do you balance between those two? How do you make sure that the explainable AI is able to have the, strike a balance between making it too boring for the audience or making it too, com or making it too complex? And also, if you try to condense it into a smaller chunk, would that maintain, maintain accuracy or not? Although arguably, we can say that we have tools that will help you solve that issue. So you can use some other tools, AI tools that will allow you to summarize concept into a subset of, of sentences or paragraphs, and then and then you send that into, into a spinnable AI, explain the concept for you. But still accuracy doesn't really, it's a, well, accuracy first thing is subjective, but it's difficult to balance out. So you have to be able to train the explainable AI system to be able to balance out between explainability and accuracy. That, that leads us directly to, to the third point. We need to understand that AI as a whole field, machine learning as a whole field, or, 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 or artificial intelligence as a whole field, is half its own limits. We cannot do everything. We can only do what we ask it to do. So the issue of, of trying to, although arguably people are saying that they can be self-taught, we, have, we are, not, we are not, not there yet. We still have to program, we just have to tell you what to do. So how can we understand that, to what limit can we, are we able to achieve that level of explainability? To make sure that we understand that it's on limits on how much explainable AI can do and where do we bring in human into, into the play? So you have to be able to understand those concepts as time goes by. So those three challenges will, if addressed properly, will make sure everything goes smoothly as time goes by and make this area faster in many ways. So hopefully you are with me so far. But just to conclude what we have done so far today in the, in the, in the, in a brief keynote speech on explainable AI into ed education. Explainable AI is useful for both education, and it, but here it means that normal lectures in the university or other training institutions, as well as, as, well as, as R&D for development. You can use it to enhance a CPD, continue, continuous professional development in industry, but it, because it helps you 
to give it a different context, a different viewpoint uh, that will other people will find interesting to understand. You can explain things to them in, in different form, either as a layman or in a full blown technical terms. Having said that, we look at the benefit of AI. It can help you to improve cybersecurity by making it easier to, for professionals to understand what's going on. By making it easier for, 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 for professionals to explain complex topics to the CEOs or CIOs. It can help us understand how technical tools work. How do we protect ourselves against attacks? How do we mitigate it? Explainable AI, it can be good enough for you to know where time goes by. It can help you to identify and defend against attacks. In some attacks, I respond to them as, 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 as quickly as possible. Instead of you going through a lot of test books to read through them, manuals to understand, Explainable AI can easily give that to you in an ocean. But again, as we said before, there's limit to it, limit to that. So you have to be like that, that in our mind. Okay, that's me. Uh, thank you very much for joining for this session. I hope you learn a bit or get in mind about what explainable AI is and how you apply it into your own domain, either being doing R and D or being a student or being a lecturer, delivering a lecture, or just an industry as time goes by. So please, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please feel free to write them to me. And I will do I will also respond back to you as time goes by. And this over here, thank you very much for your time. Have a, uh, have a good evening, morning, afternoon, this is where you are from. And thanks for joining me again. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.